Moved into a new high rise in Phoenix. A lot of BMW fans in here. Nice M3. Here's the old E46. Jessica's. And then here's the Beast, the G. So what's wrong with it today is the brakes. The brakes are squealing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video on how to replace the brakes. All right, let's give it a cold start. I haven't started it yet today. Move it forward and I'll show you how bad the brakes are squeaking. So I think it's just the slides need lubricated, but the brake pads look very well. And since I get my brakes at O'Reilly's, it's completely free for me to replace the pads. They have a lifetime warranty. I just have to do it myself. So the brakes are very simple to do. I'll show you quickly how to do the front. If I stick it in reverse, it's really bad. Jeez, that's just ridiculous. So if you're wondering, yes, getting a big brake kit is on my list of things to do. I haven't done it yet. I could either get it from a G37 or a Q60 and just swap it out. The reason 05 to 07 G35s did not come with Brembo brakes on the sports package is because there was a lawsuit. It wasn't really a lawsuit. Well, people complained about the pads fading too fast with the Brembos. And that's because on the Brembos, instead of having just two pistons like this, one here and one here, on the Brembos there's four. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And that made the pads uh, fade very fast. So yes, I'd like to get a big brake kit. Uh, one downfall is the weight. It's a lot heavier. And the problem is these brakes really don't fade much in the city. Um, I've had them out on the track. Believe it or not, these are eBay rotors. Probably the only cheap part I've really put on this car. And They've, I think they're five years old, five or six years old, and I've laid them once. And I took them to the track. So at the track, yes, around 15 minutes in, um, you can see my video, it's at Eagle Canyons Raceway in Dallas, Texas. 15, 20 minutes in, they did start to shake pretty bad. Um, that's just because they got too hot. So yes, a big brake kit would definitely help on the track, but for the street right now, these are more insufficient. Okay, the nice thing about using O'Reilly's is their brakes right here come with a lifetime warranty. So, these squealing brakes, I'm gonna take in, return, and they give me a new set for free. The brakes I went with, usually I get, um, they give you some slides in here, new ones. These are a new design by Wagner. So, the guy there convinced me, let's see here, the brakes I get are usually free because I got a lifetime warranty if this would focus. Focus would be free for a lifetime warranty. So my old brakes uh, were 50 bucks. And he said these new Wagners that came out, I'll show you an illustration here soon, uh, stop 50 feet sooner. So they just came out in 2016. So what I was able to do is just use my warranty on those brakes towards east. I paid $5. You also can't forget with your brakes, you want to get some of this... Uh, disc lube that we were going to put on these slides right here and that ensures that you get no squealing in the brakes at all. It's 14 millimeter on the back here. Is what we're going to do, crack these free. You're going to pull out these bolts. Down here, here's one. There's two. Like this. Should slide right off. And back behind it is the two pistons I was talking about. These right here, which, and I push those in with a C-clamp. Now, since I have these coilovers, I don't really have anything to hang this on, like a regular OEM suspension, so I'm just gonna set it just like this, because you don't want it to dangle by just its rope. All right, so let's take a look at these pads. Yeah, 
The other side's a side that's really squealing. These aren't really that bad. Okay, now that I've gotten over to the driver's side, I knew the, the squeal was coming from the driver's side, so I knew that was where the issue was, and I thought it might have been a slide. If you look at the pads over here on the passenger side, they actually got a decent amount of life. Now, the driver's side. This one is obviously the culprit. The one that was making the squeal, because look, there is no pad left on this at all. So uh, that was making the horrendous noise. So let's pull these slides off. Just like this, because we're going to stick new ones on there. Before we put these slides on, you want to wipe any dirt or grunge that's out in between here. So you want a clean surface before you put this lube on it. Because uh, any vibration, it'll pick up. So here's the caliber lube I'm talking about for the slides. So let's go ahead and take this top one out too. Go ahead and clean this up here. I have to take some sandpaper or like a, a wire brush for yours. I just live in Arizona, so I have not bad weather, so it's not bad at all. So it just wipes out. Oh shit, take a little chunk off. So stick a little bit on your finger, and I'll wipe it right in there. A little bit on your finger, wipe right up in there. This is the key to making it not squeal with the slides. Let's see. So go like this. So I guess you're going to want it on this too. Anywhere the metal touches. You're going to want some of this goo. Beforehand, you can put some of uh, this anti squeal on the slides or the metal guides, I guess you would say, before sticking it up there if you prefer. So we have the slides lubricated. What we're going to do the next step is, is you want to take a C clamp and you're going to push. I better come up here and film up here. We're going to push these pistons on real quick. So, just like this. Take just a C clamp and buy it in the store. We're we'll just go ahead and push these pistons in. keep going until it really won't turn anymore. You can tell when it gets flush. See, as the, the piston itself is pushing back in. And then right there. And the reason you do this is because when you put the new pads on, they have extra thickness in them because they're brand new. Um, you need to be able to slide the caliper over the brake pads. So all you're going to do is repeat the process on the, to the other piston over here. Move this one over here and repeat the process. I guess you would call it the squealer. I push in first and then I slide this one in. And then I guess they all have squealers on it. it used to be only one of them. Did. What do you mean uh, by this, squealer? This little pin right here. So whenever the brake pad gets low, the squealer will hit this rotor and make it go. Okay. 
So then all we're going to do is we're going to stick this in on the other side. Just like this. Go ahead, get a zoom in on that. You can tell this is definitely a different brake. See how it's got these waves in it? And those waves allow airflow, so it's a lot different. So once you get these pressed against, you're going to take the caliper like this. Slide it on over. There you go. Now, the next thing you do is these little uh, these little bolts. You want to put a little bit of this lube right on there. This is the guide holes that slide into here. Just like that. Screw it on in there. And do the same thing for this bottom bolt. You don't put it on the threads, you really put it up here, right there. It's just so when it slides back and forth, it has a little bit of lube in the dust boot. So down here is where you put this one at. You take a 14, tighten them up. As you can see, we can take a little close up here. I've got lube in these slides to ensure that there's no squealing. And there's the lube up here. Okay, and one thing before I forget is remember, since you push in those pistons, you won't have any brakes. So when you get in the car, you're gonna have to pump the brakes a couple times to get the pressure back in the system. So, repeat this process for all four tires. Uh, the only tip I got for you, if you decide to take the rotors off, there's two bolts in the back, which are very simple. Um, and then the rotors will slide right off. On the rear, the rotors actually won't slide right off if you have the parking brake on. And so when you try hitting the rotor to pop it off, if it doesn't pop off, tip to you is let the parking brake down. Then you can actually kick the rotors off in the rear. So hopefully that helps. That'll be the end of this video today. And see you guys in the next video. Mm-hmm.